Welcome to the second session on chronodexy visual planning type stuff. This is actually my fourth video. I did three last week. I'm just doing a quick update today. Go and check out Carrie Harling and Miss Vicky B's videos as well. They're doing updates today on what they've been using. Uh, when I spoke to you last time, I was using the large DIY fish inserts for the these are the new mtn inserts that she brought out i think life mapping 2.2 so i was trying those out for her um i had started splitting things up into areas i was still using two clocks i decided that once i had done my review i was going to go to one clock but i hadn't decided what i was going to use exactly um and i was trying to get the chronodex to fit 24 hours because this is what kept happening this is what it looked like you know if you only sleep for two or three hours a day this is what your chronodex is going to look like <laughs> um which was doing my head in a bit <laughs> i have to say this is what the chronodex looks like uh you can see it's got times written on it 12 p.m 11 a.m 9 a.m and so on uh, but they're so tiny you can just ignore them Trust me, by the time you've reduced this to the right size you want, you can ignore those times. I found it very, very easy to disregard them. Think of it as a clock, regardless. So that is always 12 and you'll be fine. Now you can see here that the Chronodex starts at 12 midnight. So presumably you record your sleep. Uh, about six o'clock you're starting to think about getting up and going to work and then you go to work and you uh, and then you finish and you come home and then presumably you go to bed at some point and this is where it used to start going wrong for me because past midnight you know there's there's nothing past midnight <laughs> so what i did are you ready for this i turned it upside down yes so my chronodex now starts at 6 a.m which is, you know, sort of six, seven, eight, nine o'clock is sort of when I would wake up. And I usually lie in bed and read for a while. I don't get up straight away unless I'm going somewhere. So six o'clock and then it goes right the way around. And instead of coming out at nine, what I do is I use these internal things. So all of this right the way around to 3 p.m. Because all of this is, you know, if I wake up at six, I'll probably stay in bed till sort of eight, get up and have a shower, poodle a bit, take the dogs out. That's up to 11. By the time I come back, it's time for lunch. And normally I'll sit down to start work round about 12, 1, 2 ish. And the first thing I do is go through emails, check my classes, um, check what I need to do, if there's anything I need to do today, do my plan. So the first three hours of a work day are not actually doing, well, they are working, but they're not doing work. They're settling into the day. They're catching up on um, forums, catching up on what I need to do for the day, planning it out, uh, all that kind of stuff, uh, answering YouTube comments, all that kind of thing. So I don't need multitasking ability in this section then at three o'clock i come out and this is where i'm going to start if i'm going to film or i'm going to work on class stuff or something like that that's going to be my core hours three till six that's when i do my admin stuff so i'm awake i'm alert i can function but i can't do fine detail creative type work so this is setting up classes organizing financial stuff, uh, editing video, uh, recording videos, rendering videos ready for upload, all that kind of stuff comes in here. At six o'clock then I usually take some sort of a break and take the dogs out again and then round about eight or nine when I've had something to eat I will come back to work and I will continue with whatever I was doing. So if I've recorded a video, I will edit the video. If I have been working on class stuff, I will review class stuff and then I will come up with new ideas for the next class and so on. So this is my creative time, nine till 12 is my optimum creative time. And then 12 till three 
is kind of my wind down time. So, you know, setting up anything that I've done. So if I've recorded a video and edited a video, then I will sit and upload it and render it. Between sort of 10 and two is my optimal time for creating. So if I've got something to paint or to draw or anything like that, then that's when I'll do it while I'm rendering my videos or uploading my videos writing blog posts anything like that that I need to do goes in that creative window there and then sort of two till five ish is usually sometime around then I will go to bed and get a few hours sleep um, quite often it's sort of three or three between three and four so the full circle from six till three then my core hours for work are 3 p.m. till 3 a.m. And then after 3 a.m., well, I suppose 2 a.m., but this is the full circle from 3 till 3. And then I come out of the circle to do that short amount there, which is 4, 5, 6, because I don't need to do any multitasking during that time. I'm not working during that time. I'm winding down. So at the most, I will be reading or I will do a bit of studying or I will just sit and watch TV or something like that. So, for a typical day, I would say, right, let's say I woke up at six. So this is my six o'clock. This is always 12 o'clock, okay? Always. So let's say I woke up at six. And then I would have a couple of hours where I'd just sit and read. That's when I do my reading first thing in the morning because I'm my my body doesn't want to get get up and going that early in the morning i'm not a morning person but my brain is starting to be active so if i feed it information at this time in the morning i f i find i wake up better uh then i'll do things like having a shower and getting up and then i might perhaps i'll do some some housework or something for for a bit so i might do the washing up do some hoovering whatever and then i'll take the dogs out so let's say that section there oops that shouldn't be outside sorry I've got carried away there that section there is the dogs ignore that bit just, just I do that of habit because that's whatever time I walk them there I walk them there as well just ignore that pretend you didn't see it uh, then when I come back I probably you know I might I don't know I might wash up I might dust and whatever I hate doing housework so I break it up with a dog walk uh, then I would have some lunch uh, maybe do a little bit more reading open my post uh, watch YouTube videos that kind of stuff and then I start work so let me find my orange for work stuff oh it's there this I would probably sort of sometimes this overlaps so I'll start off watching YouTube videos and then it will move into YouTube videos that I need to watch for work or it'll start off with YouTube comments and it'll go on to classroom comments or whatever but largely this is just sort of catching up with where everything is for work and working out what I need to do that day and that kind of thing and then that's where I come out of the circle. So at this point, three o'clock is where I come out of the circle. And let's say I'm going to record a video. So I might finish doing my finagling about around there and then record a video. So I would mark that off. Now I can't record a video and do anything else at the same time. And recording a video usually takes two to three hours, depending. So let's say this chunk of time here is when I'm recording my video. I will fill the, all of that in now because I can't multitask. You know, I could multitask while I'm doing this. I could also be on the phone or something, or I could also be answering emails, or I could also be doing something. I could also be in my journal, but no recording. I can't be doing anything else. So then I usually have a break between recording and actually editing so I would go off and do something else for work maybe some arty stuff or just journaling or something and then I would start editing my video 
and usually about this time is when I, I sort out dinner so I, will, I might go off and do dinner but be editing my video at the same time so this area here I would colour in pink because I'm editing my video but then I would also just you know maybe I put dinner on ready so I would put something like that just to show that I was doing something for dinner um, and then I would stop and dinner is is quiet time I stop work for dinner I don't work during lunch I work enough hours as it is so I would colour all of that in say right that's it doing that and then say I need to finish editing my video and then I need to upload it so I could do that but at the same time I've got some artwork to do so then I could mark that in and say right this bit I'm doing art and this bit I'm also doing art but I'm also rendering a video and then as I said just now that this is why I automatically coloured it in because whatever time I walk the dogs there I walk them there as well because that gives me a, a complete break and then I come back and whatever I need to do you know maybe I need to catch up on some YouTube videos and some journaling so I might you know, that's social media so while I'm working on my journal or my planner or whatever I might be watching YouTube videos so that's multitasking there because technically it's for work but also I'm sitting watching YouTube videos and then let's say I finish I decide I'm going to finish work at half past one there and I say okay so I'm going to go and sit and watch TV and finish some more journaling but personal journaling so this will be purple because it's personal time and I might even write on there what I was watching on TV and if I was working in my journal and then that fills the third the second section of the clock the main section of the clock so we've got six till three and then we got three till three but after three o'clock I might still be up but I won't be doing anything important I will be doing something quiet so I might be reading I might be journaling I might be watching TV whatever it is I would be whatever I'm doing in this time it will be personal stuff so that goes in purple as well and then let's say I went to bed at 10 past 4 so I would just mark in there that that's when I went to bed so then that tells me that whatever time I went to bed here and whatever time that red marker is on the next day it might be 8 o'clock maybe um, that is how long I slept I don't sleep for very long so that works for me uh, but I can see that I went to bed at four and whatever time I got up the next day let's say I woke up at seven I can see then that I've had three hours sleep uh, if I have a nap I would mark that in as well so that's how I'm using my chronodex now and this is working for me much better because the part that's missing between three and six here this is when I'm most likely to be going to bed and getting some sleep. This three till six core time here is when I'm most likely to be asleep. So by taking that section that only has, that doesn't have the inner ring and moving it here to this part, I can see, you know, did I stay up after three easily? You know what was I doing when did I go to bed all that kind of stuff and this works much better for me so you can see the difference between that by simply turning it upside down and this horrendous thing <laughs> there's quite a bit of difference between that and that this is much easier to read for me anyway I mean if you don't understand how the chronodex works it's going to be hard for you to read anyway but for those of you who are dealing with 24 hours or perhaps work shifts um, my advice would be find when your core time is so if you regularly work shifts but it means that between 6 and 9 a.m. you're probably asleep that or you're always asleep between 6 and 9 a.m. then move this empty space round to there and use this time here as the time you get up so if you get up at nine turn it round that way because you're going to be asleep here if you get up at four 
turn it around that way because you'll have three and four here and you'll probably be asleep here so that's what I've done and it's working for me and like I say it's the print is small enough that you can just ignore the numbers I do I, it bothered me for about two days and then after that I got completely used to just reading it like a clock and saying right this is six and this is twelve okay so that's how I'm using it in here uh, I do like these road crusade inserts and I am going to do a review on them as I said however they don't really work for what I want right now so my September setup video I will do separately but it involves one of these yes I got a daily diary moleskin planner and everybody will be going oh but it's September what a waste of money oh, yes but this is last year now we've had the mid-year diaries we've had the academic year diaries and cup September the 1st 2015 diaries come out they're already available for pre-order so these I picked this up on eBay for £2.50 okay that's not a lot to pay for a planner okay and I wanted to try it so you know I, I would rather buy a 2014 one and try it for the rest of the year than spend the £13 or so on a 2015 one and then find that it doesn't work so you know I can play about with this I got it cheap it's not going to hurt anybody I would say if you want to play about with planners and try different things and see what's going to work go and hit the sales now because the 2014 planners are on sale even in WH Smith's and, and places like that you can pick up moleskins for less than half price because you know they're they're last year's stock they're not interested in last year's stock they're trying to get rid of it so you know if you if you've been wanting to try anything from 2014 now's the time to go and look and see if you can pick it up cheap anyway this is a page a day moleskin and i'm going to mug over this of course they have changed it a little bit since the last time i used one i think the last time i used one was 2007 and it's a little bit different it's got it's got moon phases and things and it's got times but it's also got weather and temperature down here and stuff like that uh it's got the week number down here so it's a little bit more like the hobonichi and i'm actually quite liking it um but of course i only need that section so i'm going to pull a kent from oz and i'm going to pull it apart that's what he's done for his um his moleskin for his filofax and i think that's what i'm going to do for mine uh, but i will do it on video so you can see what i've done and how it works and then what i'll probably do is rebind this or recover it uh, just so that i can pop it in my um, field notes because if you look at this it will take the place of this basically and if you look at that you know that is a lot thinner than that and it's the same stuff so I think that will work I'll give it a try and then I've got completely free reign to do whatever I like on these pages uh, I haven't I guess I could have just used a plain grid notebook or whatever blah 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 but honestly I'm too lazy to write dates in and I get dates wrong and I get the days wrong and then I get confused and I have to restart it and it gets very messy I am better off buying a cheap one of these and seeing if this works so I will give that a shot oh and it came with a free um, address book which is rather handy it's this little thing here so you can actually have that as an insert in your Midori as well if you wanted to uh, I don't have enough room to put it in as an insert but I've, I've just popped it in the back of my loose term pocket because it's the same size and you know that's handy to have as in my wallet because if I'm going to post something normally what I do is I write the address on here and I've got a few times where I have done that but of course then that takes up valuable space and if I've got a day like this I don't have anywhere to write information on like that so yeah <clears throat> I think it'd be useful to have a little just a lay to z where I can write in people's addresses that I need so that is my 
Chronodex set up, I am going to continue with Chronodex. I like Chronodex. I like being able to look at this and see where my time is going. And I like it in conjunction with my bullet journal. So I'm going to stick to this format, but probably not these inserts. I think I'm going to go to a planar insert so that I can set up this stuff if I need it. And if I don't need it, then I can use it for other things because I'm finding a lot of wasted space on these pages that I could use for other things. Uh, that's not included because that was a weekend away. But um, yeah, I don't need all these boxes. They're nice. Um, and if I was the kind of person who wanted to fill them in, they would be wonderful. But, you know, I just, I don't feel like filling in the weather every day. I fill it in when I feel like it. So I don't need a box every day, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, my throat's gone really dry. Let me grab a coffee. There we go. So that's what I'm doing with my Chronodex. I am reviewing. Well, no, I'm not reviewing because I don't fill it out afterwards. I, I go through and I check what I've done as I do it. So... You know, when I get back, got back from the post office, I filled in there, oh, I left at two and I went to the post office and I got back at quarter past three. And then I sat down and I, you know, I had some lunch. And I got back to work at quarter to four and I worked on class stuff. And what was I doing? Oh, I was working on visual planning vids, checking visual planning videos and checking bullet journal reference. Oh, I had a, a problem with the bullet journal, which is why it's arrowed. I've had a problem with one of my videos I had to sort out. So that's what I'm doing with this, and this is okay, this is working, but, you know, I want more freedom in my inserts. So, yeah, I'm gonna try something different for September. I'm taking the opportunity, I know it sounds like I'm always changing and I'm always doing something different. I am, but I do it because that's what works for me this month. I'm not trying to find a perfect system. I'm trying to find what's going to work for me right now. And what's working for me this week might not be what was working for me last week. Once I find a system that I like, I will probably stick to it for a while, which is why I've been using the DIY fish inserts. I've been using my DIY fish inserts since, since February. Uh, I've also been trying other things, but I've been using my DIY fish inserts since February, and I really like the DIY fish inserts. What I might try and do is MacGyver these down to field notes size, because this actually could be shrunk widthwise quite easily, and then it would just be a case of chopping off the bottom. So that's something else I might play about with. Um... Of course, I don't use the, the weekly charts or anything, so that's not going to be a problem for me. And I don't need the monthly chart because I've got my monthlies in my other book. So that might be something else I play with. And just try that as well. I don't know. This is the fun of playing with planners. I like playing with planners. So I will be carrying on with my Chronodex. And, oh, uh, yes, I am planning ahead with my Chronodex as well. I don't plan what I'm going to do for a time, um, but I do, like, this This was the day I went to Coventry, and I did put in appointments that I knew I had at specific times, so what time we were leaving, what time we booked the taxi for, all that kind of stuff. If I've got, like, um, I don't know if I've put it in, actually, September... I've got the dentist at 10 past 12. Well, I know that's going to take about an hour and a half. So I would normally do this closer to the time, but I'll do it today for you so you can see. Uh, I would just... 10 past 12. So this is 12 down here. So I would put in there. Now I'm having a tooth out, so that's basically going to be the afternoon killed for me. It's going to take about an hour hour and a half and then I'm gonna have to give time for the anaesthetic to wear off which normally takes about two hours and it makes me feel very very groggy so I'm gonna block out that entire afternoon there so that I know 
when I'm planning my week and I'm flipping through and I'm going, oh, what have I got to do? Oh, I could do that on Friday. Oh, no, I can't because I'm having my tooth out. Yes, I've got to have a wisdom tooth pulled. So that's going to be a non-weekend. So anything I need to do in terms of talking, so any videos I need to do, any YouTube stuff I need to do, anything like that, I'm going to have to do it before Friday lunchtime in order to you know, not have a big swollen face. And then I'm going to have to take a couple of days where I don't do any filming or anything and I rest my jaw and everything else because, you know, having a wisdom tooth out is quite major surgery. <laughs> it is if you don't have surgery, you know, I don't, I don't do stuff like that. I don't, I've, I don't go into hospital for stuff and things. I'm quite healthy. Um, but, you know, I've got to have a, a proper knock you out type anaesthetic to have my wisdom tooth out. So I'm going to be out, out of it for a day or two. So I'm not planning on putting anything in here forward planning until September the 8th, which is the Monday. And even then, that first couple of days, I'll probably do admin stuff. I will probably book that day as the day to catch up on my accounts rather than trying to film or anything like that. So I'll, I'll be working, but I'll be doing admin. So that helps me to decide what I'm going to do. So I will probably leave that afternoon free, not knowing what I'm going to do, because it depends on this. It depends how it goes. If it's really good and it's fine and I feel fine, I may spend a few hours, you know, playing with the website or doing accounts or something like that, you know, but I've booked out those three hours because I know I'm going to feel groggy after my anaesthetic. Uh, I do similar things for other stuff, like for instance, um, no, I don't think I actually did it today, did I? Oh yes, I did, but you can't see it because I've already coloured it in. Um, I needed to film this video, so I highlighted it. I highlighted it in advance and I've booked what I'm going to do for the rest of the day in advance because it's only, what time is it now? <laughs> Let me have a look. It's ten past four. So I'm actually a bit early filming my video but, you know, I'll just go and have some lunch or something in between here. And that's easy to change. I'll just move that across and fill this in purple. So I've set up what I'm going to do for the rest of the day and it doesn't really matter if I overrun or I do it at a different time this is a guide for what I want to do and how I'm going to do it and when I'm going to do it um, based on experience of you know how long it takes me to film a video when I start it when I do it and you know all that kind of stuff how long it takes to edit how long it takes to upload and so on <clears throat> I'm sorry if I've been at my voice sounds funny. I've got a very dry throat today. It's um, for those of us who suffer with hay fever season at the beginning and end of the season. It's the end of the season. So I've got a lot of pollen-y things going on, which is giving me dry throat. I do apologise. Uh, anything else to add? I, d I don't really think there's anything else to add. I'm basically still using exactly the same system. It, look, it just looks completely different. <laughs> uh, I'm still doing my bullets. I'm still highlighting them in whatever colour. I've just added in the Chronodex. That's really all I've done. Um, just because the system looks completely different doesn't necessarily mean it's not the same. And the dogs are just about to go crazy, so I think that's my cue to stop. But that is basically how I'm looking for now. And what I'm hoping to do is to put this into a plain page format so that I can work it out myself and, and work out my own layout um, kind of a bit better. I don't know. That, that might be too much work for me. I might not like that. But this is similar to the DIY fish inserts where you've got the uh, you've got the times down the side you've got the times and you've got plenty of blank space and the date at the top and a big section that you can use for notes and stuff and that's that's what I wanted so I'm going to try that see how it works 
and uh, like I say I might try and MacGyver these into a field note size as well. You never know.